Dr. Shannon M. Clark here, and I want to talk about this article that came out last month. Leading cause of death for pregnant women is likely not what you think. So I'm going to pause right here. Y'all run to the comments and put in the comments what you think is a leading cause of death in pregnancy. In the United States, individuals who are pregnant or are recently postpartum are more likely to be murdered than to die from one of the three main obstetric causes of maternal mortality, which would be hypertensive dis disorders of pregnancy, hemorrhage, and sepsis. These murders are largely due to intimate partner violence, and the data shows that this violence does escalate in pregnancy. And the most likely method is, you guessed it, be a firearm. This article right here was recently published, and let's talk about what their findings were. Peripartum people are an increased risk for homicide due to intimate partner violence, specifically due, fire, due to firearm violence. Increasing rates of peripartum homicide occur in states with policies that are restrictive to abortion access. Shocker. They also found this. Intimate partner violence is related to 40% of peripartum homicide cases, and firearms are used in 63% of those homicides. This editorial in the British Medical Journal says, um, the pregnancy associated homicides are preventable and most, most are linked to the lethal combination of intimate partner violence and firearms. Preventing violence towards women, including gun violence, could save the lives of hundreds of women and their unborn ch children in the U.S. every year. And then this article from the American College of Surgeons from February of 2024. Pregnant women living in states with limited access to abortion face higher levels of intimate partner homicide. The study finds significant differences in homicide rates of pregnant women particularly by firearms between states based on policies regarding abortion access. And then these were the key takeaways. Young women under the age of 30, black women, and women with lower education levels are disproportionately affected by intimate partner homicide during pregnancy, reflecting the need to better serve and protect these vulnerable populations. Particularly by firearms, increasing rates of intimate partner homicide of women who are pregnant or recently pregnant are occurring in states that have limited access to abortion. This is yet another example of the fallout of having AB bans and restrictions. We have a country who loves to restrict and ban reproductive rights and who loves their firearms. And guess who's paying the price? Pregnant and postpartum individuals and children. Don't quite see what's so pro-life about that.